Well, hello. I'd like to introduce you to some of our engineering students. And uh, for this little module, I want to introduce you to Pablo Mora, who is one of our uh, aerospace engineering students. Morning, Pablo. Good morning, Energen. Uh, my name is Pablo, and I was an exchange student in Kentucky for one year in Dixie Heights High School. But actually, I'm from Ecuador, all the way in South America, and I'm right now studying here aerospace engineering at the University of Cincinnati. Back when you were in Ecuador or at your uh, time at Dixie Heights, did you have any favorite subjects in high school? Yeah, uh, I always liked science like physics and chemistry, and I also was really interested in math and I also like languages, that's why I learned English. And sure. Now, in, in uh, Ecuador, how many years of physics did you take in Ecuador, and did you take any in Kentucky? Yes, I took three years of physics in Ecuador and one year of physics in Kentucky. So your high school in Ecuador had three years of physics? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. How about chemistry? Chemistry, same thing. We had three years. Basically, the last three years was a concentration in what we wanted to study. And in Kentucky also, I took one year of chemistry. Great. Um, why did you choose aerospace engineering? How did you pick it over other engineering majors? Well, I thought that aerospace was a really challenging, challenging major. And, you know, making things fly sound always good. And aerospace and planes and spacecraft. And I like the idea of, you know, developing the future sure aircrafts and yeah have you always been interested in things that fly yeah i mean it's been something that i was like since i was very small sure very yeah um so you're a third year student in aerospace what, what kind of courses have you taken so far uh one of the most challenging courses and the most interesting one was aerospace vehicle performance where we actually study how the how the aircraft behaves in the in the air. I also took modeling and simulation, basic strength of materials that are basic engineering courses. Uh, and so you think your favorite was that vehicle performance course? Yeah, yeah, because like you study how the aircraft is gonna behave when it's flying and what changes should you do to to get the the movement that you want in the aircraft and. Uh -huh. and so I hear aerospace engineering is really easy. Is that right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of work. A lot of work? Yeah, a lot of work, but I believe it, it's worth it. But it, it, it is it hard? Uh, it's, it's a lot of work, and it has a high level of difficulty. Uh -huh. But, you know, with hard work and dedication, uh, people go through it. Okay, so how, how do you, you've done real well so far. How, how have you been successful? Um, a key thing is to organize well. Mm -hmm. You have so many subjects and, and you have so many topics you're studying and all of them are important. So you need to learn to distribute your time and give it the amount of time necessary to each topic. And, you know, also you gotta be motivated mm -hmm. and always have a positive mind. Mm -hmm. So you, all this study you are doing, uh, you have at least a base like to motivate yourself and keep going, and that that really helps you going through it. Yeah. Do you ever have to? Do you ever talk to your professors or ask them questions? Yeah, the whole time. The more you talk to your professors, the more interested you are in the topic, and the more you're gonna end up learning. Okay, so it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What advice would you give? to students who are in high school now who might be interested in engineering. Do you think it's a good field? What, what would you tell them? Uh, I think engineering, it's a great field because like we are always interested in learning new science and learning new and getting more knowledge. And engineering is not only about knowledge, but actually you apply it to the real world. You actually are apporting to our society in the world. You are developing new things. So you are using the science something to create something positive so yeah you told me once that uh, a lot of your friends thought that engineering was really a narrow field where you didn't study a lot do you think that's the truth no not necessarily even i thought like you know in aerospace was really narrow but because sounds like a really narrow major that you just focus on planes but every single engineering has like so many ways you can pick and it's all of them are really broad yeah so i understand that you're headed out of town now as part of your co-op experience where are you headed I'm going to Savannah, Georgia. I'm going to work for Gulfstream Aerospace. They develop 
business chats for companies or anyone who is interested in that business. Yeah. So at UC, you go to school part time some of the time, I mean, and then you go work uh, at other quarters. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Like especially from the second to the fourth year, we study one quarter and go to and work another quarter. So you get experience and and knowledge at the same time. Do you earn money while you're doing that too? Yeah, that really helps paying <laughs> for school. Yeah. <laughs> so you like that co-op program? Oh yeah. All right. Definitely. Pablo, thank you. Have a good quarter. All right, guys. Good luck. Thanks.